Hello YouTubers, let me just read this. This is Kipazoa, and I'm going to do a review on the program that I've been making a big deal of for the past couple of days, weeks, whatever. And here it is, it's called Cyberlink DVD Suite Deluxe. Um, it came pre-installed on my um, uh, operating system. So here we go. Um, upon clicking the icon I have down here, go Windows 7, yay. Okay, um, you're presented automatically with the music um, category. You have various categories, data, music and video, uh, video and photo, copy and backup, and utilities. And then you have favorites. I haven't figured this out yet, but I'm probably going to get to it. Now, uh, music, you're able to, um, let me see those favorites, have it? No, wait. Now, music, this is what you would do with usual music. You can make, um... Normal audio CD readable by all uh, <coughs> CD players and readers. Um, I noticed some. Uh, let me see. Some um, players actually read uh, CDRW MP3 formats, so you don't have to turn them into those tracks. So um, that's what this will do. Essentially, as you see here on the bottom, it says WMA. Let me see if I can do it without me. Okay, yeah. Take MP3, Wave, and WMA. And this is essentially the same thing. So, um, you can even do it for a DVD. So, I mean, it's essentially so you could actually just, um,. What, you call, what am I thinking about? It's like, um, I know some, what do you call those, those radios come with, um, MP3 support or even the DVD players. Uh, have, you know, MP3 on the front of it. That's what essentially this is, but this could also do this too. And so on and so forth. Some DVD players have WMA and whatever support. And this just rips it, takes any audio on a CD off and then stores them on your hard drive in WAVE or WMA format. So you can't do um, MP3, but you know, in my case, that doesn't bother me because I have, you know, a quick media converter, which I have to download for Windows 7. Oh, sorry, next tab is data. You can actually make a data DVD or a data CD. Now what this does is like if you want to store files onto your um, CDs or DVDs, you can, you're able to do this um, using a program called Power2Go. Now, um, I might, sh I could show you some of these, how to, how to do it, but I might have the resolution error. Let's see. Because I like my res resolution at, um, 800 over 6. Shut up, I am not doing that, so you go away. Okay. So here you go, uh, here's the basic program. Uh, you got configuration, learning, let me see. I know there's a way to, you can even burn images, audio, launch, label, print. I forget how you get to do, uh, set it to, um, do live, uh, burn. In other words, like, uh, you're able to just drag files to it and it'll burn it automatically. But I do, I just, what I'll do is, um, you know, and to make it easier, not to be the lazy way out of it. But, um... If I want to do that, what I'll do is I'll just open my quick for a minute computer and I'll just drag whatever folder file or folder to the one of the two drives with a loaded disk, and it'll say, "Do you want to use live what a uh, live disk or whatever?" And I select live disk, and what that'll do is turn the CD into a uh, a flash drive. Next, you have um, a power director. It's like Windows Movie Maker, the XP version, but it has a lot of more cool effects, and, you know, it's, I can't do it because, uh, I get this error. Yeah. Okay. But it's essentially the same as Windows Movie Maker. You're not missing out on anything if I don't show you. Um, next tab is Copy and Backup. Um, <coughs> change the weather. Damn, I hate it. No, this is essentially explanatory. Uh, you can copy a DVD or a CD data, whatever data is, I don't know, I guess you can do anything. Because um, I made real DVDs for playback on a, any DVD player and I copied exactly them. 
and a copy, so yeah, you will work for that too. And then last you have utilities where you can create a disk image, like from, let's say uh, you make a program in an executable, or a friend does, and they say you can make a copy of it, but you don't want, you want to, you know, put it on your hard drive or their thumb drive, or, uh, or on your thumb drive to bring it to your house and do it yourself. You know, if they don't want you to take this with you. Well, what this will do is it'll copy their, what's on their CD and put it into a file on the hard drive. And then you copy that to the, you know, uh, the thumb drive, you can bring it home, and then you come to this option where it says burn a disk image, where you'll burn that one file that was created from this onto another CD, and then there you go. I mean, that explanation was kind of retarded, but whatever. And this will erase a rewritable disk, and this is the label for it. So that's it for review of um, HP's version of uh, Cyberlink DVD Suite. I say this is HP because it has HP right there. So uh, it's Cyberlink DVD Suite Deluxe is a very nice utility. I like it better than Roxio, actually. Um, so, you know, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, can you burn DVDs? No, but I wouldn't use it to burn DVDs anyway. I would use um, either DVD Flick or um, DVD, D E V E D E, and or um, Image Burn to even do that. So um, this is Gifazoa. I'm going to give this product a nice um, nine out of ten, only because the uh, photo uh, power director. Sort of kind of sometimes crashes just like the old movie maker did if you do too too much to something. So yeah, um, that's one defect I would like to see fixed. So this is Skipper and I am out.